Canticle Six by May Sarton. Alone, one is never lonely. The spirit adventures, waking in a quiet garden, in a cool house, abiding single there. The spirit adventures in sleep, the sweet thirst slaking, when only the moon's reflection touches the wild hair. There is no place more intimate than the spirit alone. It finds a lovely certainty in the evening and the morning. It is only where two have come together, bone against bone, that those alonenesses take place when, without warning, the sky opens over their heads to an infinite hole in space. It is only turning at night to a lover that one learns he is set apart like a star forever. And that sleeping face, for whom the heart has cried, for whom the frail hand burns, is swung out in the night alone, so luminous and still. The waking spirit attends, the loving spirit gazes without communion, without touch, and comes to know at last out of a silence only and never when the body blazes, that love is present, that always burns alone, however steadfast.